the paper Ocean Science Data and Services for the UN 2030 Sustainable Development Goals is backbone by a transdisciplinary knowledge exchange and provides a critical contribution to break silos and to facilitate a dialogue aiming to pave the way for an increased recognition of science data and services to support the achievements of the SDGs and a sustainable ocean stewardship for the future we want. Hello, I'm Peter Thompson, the UN Secretary General Special Envoy for the Ocean. In this role, I lead the global drive for the implementation of Sustainable Development Goal 14, to conserve and sustainably use the ocean's resources. Considering the ocean hosts the majority of life on this planet, SDG 14's attainment is fundamental to us all. And from combating climate change to achieving food security, from clean energy to healthy lives, it's of course inextricably linked to the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda as a whole. Next year, the UN Decade of Ocean Science gets underway, giving SDG 14 the firm foundation it needs to succeed. So these are the times when governments and international organizations, philanthropies and uh, NGOs, the private sector, research institutes, and of course universities should all be entering the arena of action to form the partnerships of endeavor that will be required to meet the great challenges of biodiversity loss, declining ocean health, and the looming climate crisis. I'm Professor Elizabeth Holland, Norway Pacific Chair in Ocean and Climate Change at the University of the South Pacific, where we serve 12 member countries of the Pacific. Those stewards of the Pacific Ocean that help protect our ocean to ensure that we meet SDG 14. Conserve and sustainably use the ocean, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. The health of our ocean is at the center of our ability to meet all of the other STGs. It is my honor to be here for Earth Information Day to ensure that we talk about how our ocean allows us to end poverty, to end hunger, to ensure healthy lives, ensure inclusive and equitable education, to protect gender diversity, and ensure achievement of gender equality. I look forward to working with each and every one of you to build that science foundation that allows us to meet all 17 SDG goals based on our healthy ocean. Hi, the ocean provides food, energy, transportation, and many ecosystem services, including carbon uptake. Five out of seven of the World Meteorological Organization's climate indicators derive from observations of ocean variables. If we are to develop more solutions from the ocean, we need to observe not only physics, but also biogeochemistry, marine biology, and ecosystems. Fortunately, ocean scientists recently agreed on a set of ocean essential variables and ocean essential climate variables. If we use modern technology to make observations of these variables sufficiently densely and sufficiently high frequency, we are in a position to describe the state of the ocean, to develop predictions of the ocean, including its ecosystems, and provide further services to humanity from the ocean. We all depend on the ocean. We depend on solutions from the ocean. Please join us in strengthening the global ocean observing system, providing the backbone for ocean observation, ocean prediction, and ocean solution as we enter the UN decade of ocean science for sustainable development that will contribute to giving us uh, the ocean we need for the future we want in 2030. Thank you. The ocean is under threat with unprecedented environmental pressures that will continue to impact the pillars of sustainable development at local, national, regional and global levels. 
the UN 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda delivers clear guidance on the urgent global goals to be achieved by 2030, a path toward a sustainable future for all societies on the blue planet. All SDGs are interconnected and SDG 14 supports the agenda and the SDGs as a whole. Sustained and accessible ocean observations and modeling systems interwoven with local, indigenous and cultural knowledge systems are required to monitor the many ocean dimensions from physics to ecosystems and from global to local scales and their capacities need to be secured and enter into operational services. Policy, management and governance instruments require sustainable ocean stewardship informed by best available ocean science data and services. Thank you.